Hi everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and today is the review on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The Samsung Galaxy Note 7 sadly was discontinued last year due to their issues with their battery, but they have come back full blown with the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 this year. Very impressive. It was released in September 2017 and their strap line for this device was do bigger things. Of course, it includes the S Pen, which I'll show you a bit later on in the review. It comes in two stunning colors. So you have midnight black or gold. They have also given three different size capacities of 64, 128 or 256 gigabytes. Carrying on with a review I'm going to show you around the device first of all taking a look at the front of your display and the screen this is going to be the main thing you're going to be looking at all the time it is an infinity display from Samsung it's a 6.3 inch dual curved QHD plus super AMOLED display it has a resolution of 1440 by 2960 and that gives us a pixel density of 521 and its ratio is 18.5 by 9 so when watching movies or entertainment you'll be just drawn into this display so it does have two edges which means that you can use the edge panel sidebar here this display is beautiful from every single angle that you look at it and whatever you're using as well Netflix YouTube Twitter any application games are just so much fun even internet browsing looks beautiful you can fit more on this display as well and I'm more impressed with this display compared to the iPhone 10 looking along the top of the device you're gonna find a single bar there that doesn't interrupt the screen inside here you're gonna find all your sensors and your selfie camera which is 8 megapixels has a wide angle lens of 1.7 aperture so this will work in low light and let in more light and then everyone can get in your shot as well taking a look down the left hand side of your device and you see that gold color coming through it's really stunning as well let me just show you the back very quickly there it does look really nice in this gold color but down the left hand side you're going to find your two volume keys and also you're going to find another button here which is your Bixby button so if you give Bixby button a press it will launch straight into your Bixby window here if you press and hold the Bixby button it's ready to talk to taking a look at the bottom side of your device first of all you'll find your antenna bars just running down here as well that gold color running through you have your 3.5 headphone jack so you can still use normal headphones with this device you have your USB-C charger remember fast charging is available on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 as well as wireless charging you then have your speaker and then finally you actually have your S Pen which we'll go into more detail a little bit later on looking down the right hand side of your device on here you'll just find your power sleep wake button pressing and holding the power button will give the option to power off reset or emergency mode along the top you're going to find antenna bars again you've got a little microphone here then you have your sim card and SD card tray here so take a nano sim card and an SD card up to 256 gigabytes turn into the back of the device you're going to see the Samsung branding you also see a dual 12 megapixel lens setup system that we're so used to now you have your flash you have a heart rate sensor then also you have a fingerprint sensor there built in for extra security a little bit more information on the camera system here it has one wide angle lens which has an aperture of f 1.7 so the same as the front and the telephoto lens has an aperture of f 2.4 with this stunning camera you can never miss a moment you have the ability to record in stunning 4k as well at 30 frames per second you have optical image stabilization hdr panorama face detection autofocus works in low level light thanks to that wide angle lens as well letting in more light and you can never miss a moment you can capture family friends sporting activities it has food mode on here as well the one added feature you get with the samsung galaxy note 8 is the samsung s pen it has been improved this year so if we actually take this out once on the lock screen you can actually jot down a little note here so this pen is so nice to use as well compared to the Apple Pencil. I wish it was a little bit more sturdy. It feels a little bit more plastic, which is a shame, but it's nice that you actually get this with the device. You don't have to then spend extra money. It seems to work very well, very quick. And what you can do here is press this little arrow and you can save this note if you so wish to. And that will add that to your saved notes. So if we unlock our device here, so you can use the pen to fly through the system it's nice and easy to use you have a little pen icon here on the far corner so once this is opened you have loads of different options inside here to change and adjust different information so at the top you have view all notes smart selection you have screen write live memo translate and bixby vision so live message if i just show you this so you can have a nice glowing heart there and you can change and adjust these effects up to you these are a lot of fun but there is a certain limit that you can do and you'll see a red bar going along the top and if we go into screen right here 
So take a picture, and then you can say, oh, this is the weather today. So you can write on here and say cold. And then you can then send this on to someone if you so wish to. So it's nice to have that feature there. It's great to highlight as well for a map or wherever you want to go. So it's great that you have all these features in here and actually use this as well as your fingers on the device. You then have ability to add more in here as well. So you can click on the plus and add more features into the S Pen. So the Samsung Galaxy S Pen has been updated from last year. It's now a thinner tip for a faster response and more pressure sensitivity as well. You can write your own notes, you can jot down on the screen any information as well, point directions to a friend, send that off in a message. You can do handwriting as well as you see on the lock screen. You can do that just in general as well. You have this built into the device, make sure you do click it back in. So this also works underwater. There are videos people using this underwater Water. It has 4,096 different pressure levels as well, and you can create your own GIF. So there is a lot of fun to have for the Samsung Galaxy S Pen. Moving on, let me show you what Bixby can do. Show me what you can do. Okay, so inside Bixby here, we have loads of different information, what Bixby can do and where it can be used in different applications. Of course, it can give you loads of information. It's finally available here in the UK. It has taken a little while to actually get here in the UK, but you can ask for loads of commands and ask it to do different things. Turn brightness down by 10%. Done. It's changed to 47. Simple, very easy and very quick. So Bixby can be used as well to ask for all different information, a clock, countdown, ask it for information on recipes. It's just so nice to have there. So just press the button once, it will take you into your little panel here that you'll find. You can also just swipe as well to the far left side of your device and you'll find the Bixby panel there. It's nice to have this included and like I said, it's nice that it's finally here in the UK too. The Samsung Galaxy Note 8 comes with power in abundance. It has six gigabytes of RAM. This one is a 64 gigabyte internal storage. It has a Snapdragon 835 processor, which is an optical processor. That means four cores running at 2.3 and four running at 1.7. And this will change depending on location. The GPU is a Mali G71 MP20. Again, this will change depending on location and your battery will not fail you either. It has 3,300 milliamp hour battery. Of course, they have reduced the battery this year due to issues that they had last year with the Samsung Galaxy Note 7, which had to be pulled. This is compatible with wireless charging as well through Qi devices. Fast charging is available and just make sure that you use the correct plugs and cables that come with the device to get the best possible charging experience. Experience. So with power and performance, I did do a comparison with the iPhone 10 as well, which will be live on the channel very shortly. But this was the results that we scored on the Geekbench 4 app. So we scored 1,981 on single core score and 6,731 on the multi-core score. Sadly, this wasn't enough to actually beat the iPhone 10. Using this device, I prefer it. It's just so much easier. It's faster as well. It is faster to move through the systems. It just seems that Apple have got their software and hardware a little bit more linked up where Samsung have to use Google and Android they're a little lacking behind in that sense but the device itself is such easy to use it's a breeze the accessibility side is fantastic as well so Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is running Android 7.1.1 works absolutely fine very speedy moving through no issues whatsoever I can flick go through my systems show my notifications we also have our widgets up here as well you can see all our widgets the brightness is fantastic on this device as well. That's thanks to that Super AMOLED panel. Speed flying through. This will get Oreo next year. I'm pretty sure of that. Android 7.1.1 Nugget. Absolutely fine. Works as a breeze. I can simply tap, go into applications. No issues whatsoever. Everything loads nice and quick. Very simple very easy to use, but very diverse in the way that you can change so much with this compared to iPhone. And this is really pulling me away from iOS. So Samsung Galaxy Note 8 has security and strength built in. Samsung Galaxy Note 8 security is impressive. It has six levels of security options. You have an iris scanner, a face detection, pin pattern or password. And also there's a fingerprint sensor built into the back, which I think Apple should have done with theirs. Strength also comes in with this device as well, because you have corn in, 
Gorilla Glass 5 on the front of your display here and on the rear. You have an IP68 rating, which is dust and waterproof up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes, and it has Samsung Knox security built in. I just want to send a massive thank you to Vodafone UK for sending out this device for us to review on the channel. Their best plan for this device is £56 a month on a 24 month plan, £100 up front, and you get 8 gigabytes of 4G data, unlimited minutes, unlimited text, and a choice of Spotify, Sky Sports, or Now TV for the length of your plan. That's great options there. The link will be in the description. I've had the pleasure to review this device now for two weeks, and it has been a pleasure. In that time, I've used the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 7 Plus as well, looking at the two and thinking, wow, there is a time that you do need to move on and change. People will need to change. And I think this is a device that could actually pull people away from iOS. I just think it's because of the display when it's pushed up to its full resolution. It looks absolutely beautiful with 4K material compared to the iPhone 10. I do have a comparison video that I'll show you in my camera setup as well, but it's just an improvement. The notification system seems to be working a lot better on Android. The Note 8 is such an enjoyment. For me, I don't actually use the S Pen that much as I can't really see what I write on the display, but it's nice to have that added feature in there instead of paying out £100 on top. The accessibility side on Samsung devices are always top top notch. This is where I went a bit emotional with my video because of the amount of settings and the diverse range that you have is fantastic and I'm so pleased to see that. So if you do have any questions or queries about the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 or any videos that I have on the channel, drop a comment down below. It's always great to hear from you and remember hit that subscribe to stay up to date and make sure to hit that little bell icon as well and then you'll get notifications when new videos go live. Thanks always for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.